This right here is a luxury building in New York City, and inside there's an $800 apartment, which is only 70 square feet. So some people come to us and it's like, is this a scam? Why is the room so cheap? And just look at how beautiful that is. My first morning waking up was definitely a nice view. And today we're going inside four of these apartments to see what it's like to live here and if you should rent something like this in the first place. Sweet. Oh, that's the money view right there. Got the Empire State Building. And look, you can see downtown. This is the perfect place to get married. I know, right? That's awesome. As you can see, the landlord loves plants. I like how you guys went with actual tile instead of like boring concrete. Are we allowed up here? Okay. Oh boy, now we're up. This is like 10 stories. A little scary. Do you know what that building used to be over there? That thing with like the weird faces? I have no idea. idea what that is. That's you got another rooftop too? Two rooftops. Oh, that one's like a greenhouse. Yeah. What is this? This is like a common gazebo? This is pretty sweet. I feel like I'm in some other country right now. Right? It doesn't feel like New York at all until you just look right over there and you see the rest of the city. That's so cool. How active would you say the other people in the building are as far as using the amenities? Not very active. Really? Do you think that's because the apartments are generally rented by people who aren't gonna spend much time in them? Most of the people who uh, rent rooms with us, they're actually pretty busy. So when you go to work and you're busy working and then you got school and you're trying to make friends, there's not very much time left to stay at home. Oh. Is that comfortable? So this used to be air hockey, but now it's a blue screen of death from Microsoft. Oh, look at that. <laughs> is it a touch screen? Oh no. This is where you sing? So if you have to practice, you can't really do it always in the apartment, but this is a great place to sing by yourself and not bother all your roommates. Got the little laundromat down here. Oh, this is pretty good. What we got here? Equinox? Maybe Planet Fitness. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> they have weights up to 75. Most places don't have that. And they got some good treadmills. And that's a good thing. What's going on here? This looks like a so message. So There's a message? Try to survive okay. Shark Tank. Really? <laughs> shark yeah. Tank. How many bedrooms are in this apartment? This is a four bedroom apartment. There's only one bathroom, unfortunately, but that helps with the price. We share common areas. We have a balcony, kitchen, living room. Do you need roommates in advance to live here? We actually pre-qualify roommates before you move in. So you will know already who you're gonna be living with. Okay, so you could show up with a suitcase yeah. and just rent a room and get plugged right into this yeah. place. That's what it is. Normally in New York City, you find an apartment on the, on the internet and you're like, oh, you gotta sign a lease for 12 months. With us, only three months. Gives you flexibility. Then we have a lot of different choices. So How many rooms do you have total? So right now we have about 552 rooms, mostly in Brooklyn, a little bit in Queens, like Long Island City, Astoria, Ridgewood, anywhere from $675 to $1,500. And if somebody wants to relocate to another building, since they're already in the system, that's something that they can do. Yeah. It seems like a really easy way to just show up in New York City and have a place without having to hassle with all of the things that kind of come with saving money. I mean, generally, if you want something this cheap, you're gonna be living with other people, but you have to have college friends, college roommates, people that kind of have your same plan here. That's not something that you have to worry about. It's really clean here. Is there a housekeeper? 25% of apartments that we have have house cleaners. It's usually because either there was a previous issue and the residents weren't doing a good job, or if it's a five bedroom, we make it a mandatory. So if you live with your college buddies and they don't clean, you guys have to go find your own housekeeper, but here you've already got that taken care of if like someone's mom. Unfortunately. Does that go for noise complaints as well? Yeah, everyone has a different time to watch TV. I like watching TV at 10.30, somebody else, like said, it's 6.30. 95% of the time, the time that you watch TV, usually is not gonna bother the roommates. 5% of the time, it might. This is it. This is it. $820 a month. So that used to be a real window. It's still a real window. It's just, uh, it got blocked off by the building that was built right next door to us. Okay. So when you plan on building your building, know in advance that this might happen. What size mattress is this? Full size mattress, four and a half feet wide, six and a half feet long. Very comfortable. I like how we got ourselves a little desk in the corner. It comes with all this furniture, this dresser and everything. Yes. This, this is all, okay, sweet. There's also a closet. Oh, there is? A closet is on the outside. 
Oh, sweet. So it does have a closet. What utilities does the room come with? 820s for rent, then there's $100 for utilities. Internet, electricity, heat, and hot water. But the internet's already set up right now. Internet's okay. set up. We got 500 megabits, which is enough to stream about 24K TV videos at the same time. Sweet. This one's in the same building? Same building. <laughs> Trevor, how do you like living here? Love it. First day was yesterday. Really? Awesome. Yep. So and what's your rent? Thirteen hundred a month. So you got one of the really big rooms. Oh yeah. Sweet. I'm originally from Michigan. I go to school in New York. So my internship is from June until about mid-August. So this was perfect because you only have to rent it for a couple of months. Exactly. You don't have to stay here for a year. Yep. The three months rent was perfect. It was just perfect. It was fully furnished, and I could just move straight from school. Did you bring any of your own stuff, or no? This is all their furniture. Uh, yeah, the bed stuff. I just had to bring like sheets and a blanket and a pillow. And now, when I first moved here, I rented something just like this. For myself this was about 10 years ago but i found it comforting to just show up and not worry about roommates did you find any advantage to that it seemed like it was a great process the fact that everyone was kind of pre-qualified to gave me a little bit of peace of mind and you're not just saying this because eugene is right over here no not at all <laughs> This is crazy, right? How much different this room is than the other one? Yeah, this is the difference, $300. Yeah, a couple hundred dollars, but you get that awesome view. We're on the seventh floor, not the fourth floor. And you get large size, and you get your closet inside of the room. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Home office chair as well. And I feel like if you wanted to have visitors in this room, it would maybe can, be a little you easier. You can afford that. <laughs> <laughs> Just fell off the bed. So Tanya, what determines the price of the rooms? Room size, location, building age, amount of the windows, furnished versus empty. Okay, so if it's an empty room, that actually goes for a different amount, but then you're sleeping on the floor. That's same size TV, same size dresser. Got the full length mirror behind the door. Is the bathroom here any different? No, I mean, we're in the same building. No, it's the same bathroom. Same one? Yeah, it's just different layout. So. Kitchen and everything else is the same. Oh, but there's no balcony here. Do we need a balcony? I don't know if we need a balcony. I think this view is pretty sweet, to be honest with you. Now, Eugene's gonna take us to another building. Let's do it. Actually, like a minute to find the key. So we have- Wow. The okay, that's a lot of keys. You know what color it is? No, I don't remember. It's gonna say- 1417? 1417. Oh, there it is? All right. Go ahead. Thank you. This is a great place. Definitely a bigger one. What do the rooms go for in this one? Uh, they pretty much range between 1,500 to about 1,275. Plus utilities about 100 bucks. And this would come with the cleaning? Yeah, this one comes with cleaning because it's five bedrooms, mandatory cleaning, yeah. How many times a month? Once a month. We have permission to take a sneak peek at this room from outside the door and just look at how beautiful that is. Anything in a building like this is gonna have a fantastic layout because it's one of those older style buildings. There's great light all around. Right now we're facing east. And this common area is very large. I love the brick. I love like the double tone between like the brick and the actual walls. And here we've got pretty much the same situation as the last apartment. Television, furniture, that stuff's all included. I rent this room because of the window. Like I really like the layout of the window. It's beautiful. What do you pay a month? No one has anything bad to say about Eugene's places when he's standing like right there. <laughs> Message me on Instagram if there's any secrets I should know about. Am I sure? <laughs> Hello? So someone's actually moving out of this room, but it's gonna be renovated, painted, cleaned up and everything, and it's really nice. So this one is 1,150. Okay, so it's kind of like in between the more expensive ones and the cheaper ones in that other building. But this is like, I think 120, 130 square feet. As you can tell, it's pretty much the same furniture everywhere. So you have this little desk slash shelf. You can't fit a 22 inch monitor, but you definitely can do 18. And you can also put other items on top. We have these dressers. So the thing with these dressers, we've learned which dressers not to buy because they break. This is full wood and it's cheap and this thing doesn't break. And if you drop water on it, you can wash it off and it's not gonna do water damage. Very important for you to know this. Why are these so affordable? 
as far as furnished rooms go. Let's say I speak to 20 different landlords. I'll only choose one or two of the best deals that we get. So we're getting literally the best deals that exist. Two, it's all about unit economics. So you get a five bedroom apartment. The price of a five bedroom apartment on the market is not too different from a three bedroom because you're only adding 200 extra square feet. That means it's a 20% difference. But when you have five people sharing a, uh, an apartment versus three people, it is a lot cheaper. We'll be able to show you a $1,100 or $1,200 room that's 120, 130 square feet versus a traditional broker renting the same exact room for either higher price or same price, but they don't have furniture, they don't have flexibility, you can't stay there for three months only. So closet is a medium sized closet. It's oh, it's not, pretty good. It's not the biggest closet. Got uh, the tied up in there. Is this apartment have laundry? Yeah, see. This is where the laundry is? Oh, look at that. Wash the dryer in unit, that's fantastic. I don't know of anywhere where you can live in New York for 1100 bucks that has laundry in unit. And how many baths does this have? Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms. Now, if somebody wants to rent a room, what paperwork do they have to show you so that you know they're gonna pay the rent? So we wanna give you as many options as possible, right? So first, do you have a job, right? If you have a job, we ask you to have at least $2,000 per month in income. If you don't have a job, do you have savings? $25,000, yes, it's a lot, but that's if you don't have a job, savings, right? Third one is, do you have a guarantor? Can your mom, your uncle, somebody be your guarantor? $4,000 per month income for your guarantor. If you don't have these things, we also accept international guarantor. Not everybody does that, we'll do that for you. Oh, and and there's central air in here, right? That's yeah. pretty cool. Central air is definitely helpful. Also, you see this exposed brick wall? Yes. $25 extra. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? I'm serious. If you want an awesome apartment and some pretty good sarcasm, definitely talk to Eugene, talk to Tanya. All of their information is gonna be right here. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you guys. I hope to see you soon.